and uh, next is uh, Kostas Grinos from the European Commission. Yeah, thanks. Good afternoon from me too. We have been uh, always impressed with the progress in uh, Australia and the long history in putting a data policy together. Uh, Carlos gave the story of the RDA from the, uh, from the birth of the first idea of an initiative like this. I think this was in 2010, if I recall correctly, to today. Today we have the launch, uh, so we are really uh, thrilled to be here. We are impressed with the progress that has been achieved. Uh, but RDA is also very young, actually one day old if we take it formally from today. So uh, it will need nourishing and will need uh, uh, really uh, looking after and will need nourishing from all actors, from uh, the uh, scientific communities, from the scientific institutions and from the funders. And when it comes to funders, uh, the message today for me is that uh, the European Commission will do its own part. I mean, the, in the data area, we have uh, started uh, investing some time ago. So this, uh, this, uh, these are, uh, I think, the, uh, many of the projects we have funded, funded since 2007. Uh, and when we uh, started this effort, we conceived of this the data infrastructure as a layer sitting on top of the computing and the networking infrastructure where you have islands. So you have the island, let's say, of geosciences and then the island of, I don't know, of uh, uh, biomedical sciences and so on. And we quickly realized that for this to become really uh, a complete landscape, to become a real infrastructure, we have in parallel to bring the bridges, to build the bridges between the islands. And this is what really uh, started in uh, 2010. And RDA for us is really the framework in which these bridges can be built. We are, as you know, in front of a change to um, a new framework program, the so-called Horizon uh, 2020 uh, in Europe. Um, Okay, yeah. Uh, so we're in front of uh, the um, transition to a new framework program and we are thinking uh, everything uh, from scratch. In other words, what types of activities, what type of programs we need to have uh, and what type of policies in particular to support this open science that the Commissioner Cruz talked about this morning, uh, paradigm in particular by sharing uh, information and data. So this is an architecture or a schema that was already, uh, you could see, uh, two years ago in the right in the wave report and that we have been using as our uh, guiding schema for the development of all our activities. It is not a coincidence that the five principles that uh, were detailed earlier uh, by Alan map to this schema. So what we'll do in the next framework program is to provide a specific support to RDA as such, uh, but also populate all these parts of the schema uh, from the um, uh, discovery uh, and uh, navigation services to annotation to digital object identifiers to uh, authentication and authorization infrastructures to trust and curation to all the elements that you need to have really a functional and complete uh, integrated infrastructure. We have published a consultation uh, that uh, is open to anybody that uh, wants to respond. I'll give you in a second the, um, the, uh, the, the website. So the consultation proposes uh, seven or eight areas of action uh, that would be, um, that would be uh, our plan for 2014 and 15 and asks for the feedback of, from you on uh, what we have gotten right and what you think could be improved improved or we have gotten wrong. This, uh, already said, I think, by, uh, by the previous speakers, will uh, do it as the European Commission, but keeping as much as possible aligned and in uh, close coordination with the other uh, global funders. 
So the ones that are here today uh, from the initial group, uh, but also we are completely open to uh, everyone else that uh, would like to join. In, uh, in doing this, it's not only about funding, it's also about policy. And we are now in the midst of a reflection and we have more questions rather than answers on how uh, should we manage the research projects so, so that to make sure that they feed into the RDA. Should we expect, for instance, all data infrastructure projects to make concrete deliverables available for the RDA? Uh, we plan in the commission programs in the next framework program to have an open access data pilot. What the link of this pilot should be to the RDA? Should they be linked directly or indirectly? Uh, should we support and how the individual contributions made to RDA working groups? All these are questions that are policy questions but are of a very practical, na practical nature that we'd like to address over the next year uh, before the um, Horizon 2020 is in full swing. So, just to conclude, uh, RDA is very important for us because it provides the framework for bringing this vision of open science and open data to reality. Uh, we now need to feed it, however, to nourish it so that it is not just a framework but really uh, it delivers. Uh, we are uh, preparing ourselves in the European Commission to play our part in this, and this will play it together and in synchrony with all the other funders that want to join. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah. Sorry, I said I'll, I'll show the website of the consultation also. Uh, so it's at the top for those that would like to, um, uh, to respond to the... Um, uh, with their opinions. So, uh, thank you, Costas, and thank you for introducing the metaphor of bridges, which we'll be hearing more about later.